That's bizarre. Right. Because you don't have the normal name. Yeah, it's not like a Nicole. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? or Jane. Yeah. I don't even know if they name people Jane I was going to say, I don't even know anyone named Jane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mold! Yeah, so anyways. Bartholomew! Yeah. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Birch. And today, I have something really cool and really Interesting. Okay. I actually talked about this on the Friday live show. I didn't get to watch the Friday night live show. Okay. So this was kind of inspired by a news story of doing this video. And I brought it up on the show and I was like, what do you guys think? And everybody's like, oh yeah, you got to do that. Okay. So this is from the 90s. And the story that that kind of piqued my curiosity to do this video, mm -hmm. I was like, she might actually pop on this. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's, it actually has a couple of things you don't like in songs, but I think the messaging is cool. There was a a, a girl in the in the uh, in the news that I read, and something to the effect of she had her house paid off, and she was fairly young. I think she was mm -hmm. like thirty, something like that. Okay. House paid off, half a million bucks in the bank. Meets this dude online. And now she's filing for bankruptcy and all of her money's gone. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm like, wow, that's awful. Yeah. And I'm like, but, and so evidently, if I under, I, I didn't read through the whole story, mm -hmm. obviously, but uh, part of the story, I, I think that this, this guy's alleged to have done this to different people. Oh, like he's no. a serial type dude. Yeah. Serial liar. So, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm like, wow, you know what? We could do Liar by Henry Rollins. Okay. Or Rollins, man. So Henry Rollins, he uh, sung for Black Flag. They were a punk band. And for skateboarders like me, um, they were one of the bands that we really dug, them, Dead Kennedys, and guys so like that. So there's a lot of songs engine. that you like. I mean. uh, yeah, and, well, and this was probably the most recognizable for a couple reasons. One, the video is is... Pretty iconic for the 90s. And that's what we were watching the video? That we were watching the video. Okay, cool. It's a very interesting video. Mm -hmm. And Beavis and Butthead actually did one of their little bits. You know who Beavis yes. and Butthead are. They did one of their little music bits where they'll, like, play the little clip of the song and then they'll comment over <laughs> it. They actually use this. And it's, 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 oh, that's cool. one of the also most <laughs> iconic Beavis and Butthead clips. That one and... Um, Oh, what was the movie, uh, or what was the song, Creep by Radiohead? That was another one that was very famous. There were I think a couple I that I know were... that song, actually. Really? Yeah. I love that we'll song. Well, I'll have to see. I, I'm pretty sure I know that song. Quite possibly. It's, yeah. It was, so Beavis and Butthead did that one, but they also did this, and this is a very recognizable, but I think you will like the topic. Okay. And the song is called Liar. It's not something you're normally used to hearing. It's not It's not like metal or anything This is like a guy. That. Yes. This is a guy singing it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Um, this should be interesting <laughs> to see your take on Henry Rollins All doing right. Liar. Okay. And if you like this reaction, please give us a like, subscribe, and click the bell. That way you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. We made it very easy. Uh, click the little link in the description that says... Uh, Subscription. Subscription. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Just click on it and then hit subscribe because that would really help. Okay, here we go. So you think you're going to live your life alone in darkness and seclusion? Yeah, I know. You've been out there and tried to mix with the animals and it just left you full of humiliated confusion. But the feeling of loneliness never leaves you. It haunts you everywhere you go. And then you meet me and your whole world changes because everything I say is everything you've ever wanted to hear. So you drop your defenses and you drop all your fears. <laughs> so busy feeling good that you never question why things are going so well you want to know why A little scary. 
scared. Hide behind a smile in understanding eyes. And I'll tell you things that you already know. So you could say, I really identify with you so much. I'll come to you like an affliction, but I'll leave you like an addiction. You'll never forget me. You want to know why? Cause I'm Exact line Please, before. <laughs> just give me one more chance. Just I will never lie to you. He must have seen this video. I swear. I will never tell a lie. I will never tell a lie. No. If you had to say that, no. you're a liar. <laughs> So you've heard some of those lines before? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Copyrighted. <laughs> so he, he pretty much nailed them all? Yeah, he did pretty much nail them all. Um, that was, the video was very interesting. <laughs> I. It's funny, though, that, like, the real part is, like, he's obviously imitating, like, the devil. Like, he's red and then on fire. Like, yes. setting stuff on fire. Right. Which is, like, it's, I mean, it. it's kind of a... a an accurate analogy, I would say, you know, because mm -hmm. it's deceiving, yes. manipulating, yes. you know, those are all characteristics that you give the devil. Ah, go ahead and take the bite of the apple. Yeah, ah, go ahead. exactly. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Ah. <laughs> Coming from a snake. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then, like, throughout the video, when it comes back to the liar part, he's mm -hmm. getting more and more, like, dirty. Yeah. More, like, mud or something. Yeah. I was confused on what, like, what was on his face. Dirt, mud. Just dirt and yeah. mud. Yeah. It's just his real his real color seeping through yeah. is how I took that. Um I was confused at first because I didn't think it was gonna be that point of view. Okay. I didn't think he was singing saying like, I'm a liar, I'm this, I'm that. I thought he was gonna be like saying like to somebody else. Oh right, somebody like, else. You're lied. a liar, like right. pointing the finger no. versus being the being the person that is a right. liar. Right. So that was, at first I was like thrown off by it. <laughs> okay. And then as the song went on, it seems like it's kind of like, 
he's he's making like a mockery of it. Okay. Like saying that's messed up. Mm-hmm. Like if you are this person, it's messed up. That's exactly what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was pointing out the narcissism that that right. was starting, uh, uh, not starting, but uh, was becoming very pervasive, uh, and and now it's completely it's, out, yeah, of hand. out of hand. Like it is, it is just gone to Olympic level. Absolutely. At this point. And there was one line where he said, um, I don't, "I'm not going to say it exactly what he said because I can't remember." But he was along the lines of something like. I don't know why I want to hurt you. I don't know why I want to lie to right, you or, you know, right. whatever. And I remember l- literally thinking that, like, why are you lying to me? Like, what did I do to deserve you to sit here and lie to me, pathologically lie to me? Like, somebody else, yes. actually, you're talking about, like, A you in real, real life. Surf- yeah, real life. Like, you know, what did why I w- do? Right. You know what I mean? It's not like... If I lie to you and you lie to me back, okay, you know, whatever. We're both liars. <laughs> right. But if one of us is being, like, genuine, like, what are you gaining from this? Well, and that's what he pointed out. Right. It feels good. Yeah, it which It makes is... me feel good to manipulate you. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's the the sickness that, it is. that those type of people, which is why he did it from that point of view. Right. And all the things of, and then at the end, where he wraps it back around, he's like, I, I know what I, I did never, was so wrong. I will never do that to you. Yeah. Never, I'm so sorry. Ever, ever. <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying <laughs> when I say that I heard those words. Like, <laughs> seriously. So, small story is um, this, the person that I'm talking about, they started dating somebody after we were finished, and that person had the same name as me, which is already weird. That's bizarre. Right. Because you don't have the normal name. Yeah, it's not like a Nicole. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? or Jane. Yeah. I don't even know if they name people Jane I was going to say, I don't even know anyone named Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, so anyways. Bartholomew. Yeah, so there was like three <laughs> people in our school with my name, and like so he picked the, another one that had my name. Anyways, <laughs> after years, whatever, her and I actually became friends. Okay. Right? And it was, they they were going through some stuff. I ran into her at a store, and she, like, stopped me and asked me, like, some questions. And it was, like, so awkward because I was okay. like, uh, I put that in the past. Like, let's leave it there, you know. And then she was like, oh, my gosh, like, he's doing the same thing to me. Well, so that's how we became friends, long story short. And there would be times where I would send her a message, and I would say, I guarantee you this is what he's going to say. Oh, predicting the future. And he would say it almost word for yeah. word. And I'm like, girl, I know him like a blueprint. He mm-hmm. ha- He's planned because he is a pathological liar. Right. And in a sense, it comforted me because I'm like, well, at least it wasn't like just me that you did this to. But then also, it's like I would never want someone else to go through that. You sure. Know? But it's, it is, I just don't get the point of it. You know, and it's, and there was another line where he said something like, uh, how it's like an addiction, like, you'll always remember me. Yeah. And, and it's I'll, like, I will. I'll, I'll come to you like an affliction, yes. but leave you like an addiction. Right. And as much as I try to forget, I won't because I'm like traumatized from it. That's exactly it. You know? And like when I first started dating my husband, you know, I I feel like I was a little bit like him because I had been used to that treatment. And now I'm like... This is too good to be true. Well, if <laughs> like you, he said, I'll turn you into me. Yes, exactly. And that's one of the most important verses yep. in that song is I will turn you into yes. me. Yes. Yes, and the person I was with him and the person I am now, black and white. Right. Black and white. And it's like that wasn't me. You made me that way. That's correct. I've never done some of the things that I did to him to my husband. Because he's never made me. <laughs> Correct. He's never, he's never like brought that out of me. Right. You know? And Well, again, I'll turn you into me. Yeah. And I will turn you into doing things that right. are beyond your nature. Yep. And it's like, yeah, that's so toxic. It is. That was actually, and it, people don't realize, like, you know, a, a lot of them, how important some of these songs were. Right. Especially that one. That is an important song. And it, it's... I feel like it's even more kind of imp- it's more important because it's coming from a man and somebody who was punk scene. Yeah, he's Henry Rollins. I mean, he's yeah. he's like the ultimate badass. Right. It's like he's just he's that guy. Yeah. 
that singer. Right. And it was like, uh, yeah. It's like, wow, and you're singing about that? Yeah. But, That's crazy. But he's always, he's always, it, you should, we might do some of his spoken word stuff. Because okay. it's actually, because he did, um, he did spoken word uh, tours and mm-hmm. lectures and stuff. His stuff is really good, wow. man. No, he's an interesting guy. Yeah, yeah. He Very seems, interesting he seems dude. Interesting. His voice is interesting too. Yeah. Like he can he can sing. He can sing. Yeah, but it's like, but then he's also like, <laughs> I think he was like playing the role that, in yep. the sense of his voice as well, not just like the acting part of the video, but the way he was manipulating the sound of his voice in certain parts. How close is that to today's people, like online people, the the mm-hmm. influencer mm-hmm. types that take advantage of people? Absolutely. When they run these scams, like get-rich-quick scams and stuff like that? Yeah, it's very— And like all the ones— Yeah, like you can apply this to anything, not even relationships. Right. Like anything, any type. I mean, you're talking politicians, you're talking— yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you're talking just people that you look up to, celebrities— you I'll know. tell you everything that you're already thinking. So you go, oh, I identify with oh, you. Oh, that was a good line. Right? That was a good line. And they do it. And they it's do it. It's manipulation. Mm-hmm. No, I love that song. Yeah. My biggest pet peeve now, my biggest pet peeve now is lying. Yes. Because of what I had gone through. Yes. And like when I first started dating my husband, you lied to me one time and it's done. Right. About anything. Right. I don't care. Yep. Anything. Those and nerves are has, carterized, dude. He, he has never, Don't do it. He's never lied to me. He's right. never given me the reason to think he's lied to me. Never. You know, and hopefully I don't look back at this in 10 years and I'm like, oh, yeah, stupid. I'm an <laughs> no. idiot. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I have full faith in him. <laughs> but. Don't do it. I just, because of that. Right. Being with somebody just like that, yeah. it teaches you so much. And I am very grateful for it because it made me who I am today, which is a great person. Yeah. Awesome just, person. But <laughs> you are awesome. Thanks. Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that yeah. was really good, though. I actually like that. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, the style of the song. Mm-hmm. Like, this, like I don't know. It's a lot of, like, kind of, like, yelling. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I like, I think the, the, um... What's the word? Meaning of the song? Uh-huh. The purpose of the song overrules my opinions on the style of the song. And it was a different... What was really cool about a lot of the experimentation going mm-hmm. on back then on MTV and, like, through some of those punk bands getting into uh, getting on MTV, you wound up with stuff like this. Yeah. Which it was more art form than it was just... Right putting out pop music that, you know, just regurgitating the same Absolutely. thing over and over and over, and you wind up with stuff like that, which actually has meaning. Yeah, that stands out more. Yeah, and Even still holds today, up to this day. Which is how you know it's, like, very accurate, because yep. it's like, wow. Like, to think in that time when they're writing this song, let's write about something that will still be talked about. Mm-hmm. Liars will never go away. They're always going to be there. Ever. Right. They will never go away, male or female. It's not just one. But I won't lie to you again. <laughs> I promise. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust me now. Yeah. I've learned my mistakes. Oh, gosh. My, my, <laughs> my, the best line to me, oh, gosh, the best line to me was, uh, I had a dream, and God spoke to me and said that, you know, I need to stop acting like this. He said to- that? Yeah. No. And everyone, like, I'm a religious person. Right. right. So it's like, just use that. Like, that's kind of messed up. Like, I'll tell you everything you already know. And I was like, oh, know. that's funny because you continued to lie for the next three years. But okay. I'm going to move over to the side because I think that there's a lightning bolt coming. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna move. I over may here. not. I may not get my revenge, but <laughs> someone else will. <laughs> Do you like the smell of sulfur? <laughs> Just curious. No, I hate it. My water's sulfur water. Yeah. He better get used to it. <laughs> Where he's going. All right. Well, I'm glad you liked that. If you liked that reaction, give us a like, subscribe, and click, click the bell. Yep. I didn't mean it. I you promise. Did it. You did it. <laughs> I promise I will do that again. Liar. I am a liar. I'll you definitely have done it. <laughs> I've done it in the past. I'll definitely do it. Oh, okay, man. guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. I'm glad you liked that one, by the way. Yeah, I did. I, like I'm, 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 we talked about that a lot on the show Friday. Yeah. And all the people were going, oh, yeah, Rollins. 
Yeah, show her that one. She'll love it. Think that I'd like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, They all they all popped on it. They're all like, "Oh yeah, she'll love that one. That's up her alley." (laughs) That's great. That's awesome. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Bridge. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Later. 